Good evening, everybody. Uh, we've come to the time in our ceremony when we recognize 17 individuals who will be leaving us at the end of this school year. Uh, while we will certainly miss them, we recognize that these 17 individuals have given over 400 years to the Penn Manor community. And for that, we say thank you. We know that this has been a job, but for many of you, it's been more than a job. You have served our community, you have served our students, you've served each other, you served your colleagues, and we appreciate all the time and efforts that you have put into this. You certainly have put people, others, before you, and we appreciate the hard work that you've done, the many, many lives that you have touched. Uh, for those of you who have been in the classroom, we think about each student that has gone through uh, spending, whether it's been a, a marking period, a semester, a year, or maybe in some cases several years with you, and the impact that you've had on that student and the many other students that you've had. So we thank you. We thank you for your service. We thank you for uh, giving of yourself as you have helped the Penn Manor School District. So we say congratulations, we say goodbye, and we certainly say we will miss you. And, big, and most of all, we say thank you. I don't have one favorite memory. Um, I, what I have is a feeling of support um, here at Penn Manor um, that really stands out. Uh, I started here in 2011 and had a lot of family stuff go on. So I had colleagues and administrators attend funerals of my parents. Um, my daughter was in the hospital for nine days in um, 2018 and I never had a phone call of, hey, when are you gonna be here? Um, or, you know, what's going on in your classroom. It was, you take all the time you need. Um, we had a house fire in 2022, and uh, I got personal emails from Dr. Mike and Phil Gale and Teresa Chiodi, and um, I really appreciated this family um, here at Penn Manor, especially Manor Middle and especially my Green 8 team. So next year, when the school year begins, I will be thinking of all of you and I will be missing um, my colleagues. I will not be missing the multitasking at breakfast. I was thinking about that this morning as, as my tea was steeping, I was packing my lunch and as my oatmeal was cooking, um, I was trying to finish some other things and, and pack up my things for the day. So I won't be doing that. Um, I won't be wearing sensible shoes. Um, I will probably be barefoot. I will probably be on my screened-in porch with a crossword puzzle, um, drinking my tea out of a mug instead of a thermos. Um, but I will be missing Manor Middle, and uh, I will be missing students and that, that um, jittery feeling of the first day. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My fondest memory here since I've been in the Penn Manor School District for over 20 years is when our students, our teachers, our crew earned the distinction of being a Title I distinguished school, not only in the state of Pennsylvania, but also in the nation, meaning growing our students beyond leaps and bounds. And in addition to that, we, uh, Dr. Licklider, who recruited me into the Penn Manor School District, I'll be forever grateful. He and I spent an evening sleeping on the roof of Manor Middle School because our students met their reading goal. That is by far one of my fondest memories uh, here in Penn Manor. Where will I be on the first day of school for the 20 24 2025 school year. I will be up in northern Pennsylvania helping to support my mother, doing everything that I can to help her out each and every day. Thank you so much. Um, I have a lot of wonderful memories with Penn Manor, but my most memorable moments were my years at Mardic. Um, I was fortunate enough to work with a fabulous staff, but also under the leadership of Vicki Halleck. And um, that is something that um, is very special to me. 
and her role model um, as a leader and the, the relationships that I made there um, as a, a, a teacher but also as um, a, a person who lived in the community down there. My husband and I lived there for 32 years, raised our children um, and the community and it was a, a wonderful experience. It is by far the best kept secret of Penn Manor. Um, as far as what would I be doing on the first day of next year when everyone's rolling in, I don't even know when the first day is. So I guess that tells you something. Because when the, the email came out with the um, calendar, I just hit delete. So, um, but I know it's sometime around the third or fourth week of August typically. So, uh, m most likely we will be at Raystown Lake on the boat because we do have um, a trip set up in August with our son and daughter-in-law and granddaughter to go to Raystown that, um, sometime in that time frame. So, that's what I will be doing. Um, but I do appreciate all of my experiences here, all of my um, fond er, memories, not just, you know, my fondest memories, but even all my memories with Penn Manor. Uh, and I'm very fortunate with my experiences here. Hi. Uh, thank you so much, Penn Manor for 30 years of a great educational experience. We moved to Manor in 1994 and I became a substitute with two young kids at home. And I can remember going to my interview with Don Stewart and Alan Pollock and them getting in an argument. It was like a ping pong match because they were arguing about why would a young mom want to go to work? And uh, I told Don, hey, kids are going back to school so mom has to go back too and I really appreciated being part of the Penn Matter community and my boys got a fantastic education, K to 12 all the way through and they're both engineers and I'm so proud of them and the school providing them that great opportunity for their education. And I have so many memories uh, that will, I will take with me with all the different teams I was on, the spirit days, Trout or trout are going to be released again at Manor Township Park and going down and seeing a former Manor Township police officer, Kim Geyer, who retired to Lewis. And just FYI, the Manor Township is still looking for a youth aid panel. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay on the youth aid panel, but it is a fantastic part of our community um, trying to help kids that do suffer a little bit from risk issues. So we are looking for more volunteers. So if you care to join us, I can tell you more about the amazing Manor Township Youth Aid Panel. But to get trained for that, Penn Manor paid for my mediation and ADVOS training that allowed me to be an even stronger supporter of our community. And that's the biggest takeaway that I'm gonna take from Penn Manor is the sense of community and family. Um, and as a kid, we got moved around the country a lot. My dad was an engineer for General Motors and we called GM generally moving. And so I never really had roots. And so Penn Manor allowed me to grow those roots in my 30 years that I've been here. So I just really want to take that away and say thank you to everybody and appreciate all the work that has gone in to this community and continues. On the first day of school next year, I expect this to be my view. Uh, down in Lewis, Delaware, overlooking the CJ, and I invite anybody that wants to come dolphin watching this summer to please email me because I love taking people out on the water. Um, my boat is like Gilligan's Island. It's not always a three hour tour. Sometimes it comes into a four or five hour tour but everybody does return. So that's where I'll be and I invite everybody in the community to give me a call and let me take you out for a ride if you're in the area.
very hard to come up with my fondest memory after close to 35 years of teaching. I am leaving with many fond memories of all the students, families, and colleagues I have worked with throughout my teaching career at Penn Manor. I will certainly miss all of the friendships I have developed. I have to say, my favorite memories are spent with my colleagues after school each day. After the students leave for the day, we stand out in the hallways chatting, collaborating, and laughing. We laugh at all the funny things that the kids do and say throughout the day. And if you work at the elementary level, um, these are things that you just can't make up. Um, I'm going to really miss the laughs and the camaraderie with my colleagues. I also will have very fond memories of Lee Tort at the holidays. I will always look fondly on the holiday concerts when the entire school gathers to watch the students perform and then we all sing holiday songs together. It's just a special time at Lee Tort. And then one last memory I look fondly on is the very last day of the school each year. And not because it's the last day, but because um, they play Celebrate over the intercom and we dance the kids out to the buses to dismiss them. And then all the teachers line up along the sidewalks and we all wave goodbye to the students. And the kids really appreciate that. And we just make the connection with the kids before they leave for summer vacation. On the first day of school, one thing I will not miss is getting up at 5 o'clock a.m. each morning. Um, I am a routine person, so I, I will be getting up every day and um, exercising and walking the dogs, but I won't have to rush back and get ready for school each day, so I'll be thankful about that. And for some reason, when we come back to school after summer vacation, it just always gets so hot. I will be spending my first day um, just floating in the middle of my pool and relaxing. That's what I'll be doing. My I have many, many fond memories of my time at Penn Manor. Probably my most fond memory is being able to work with some legends like Deb Holt and Diane Smith and Alan Dutton. Uh, people who really influenced my life and we had a lot of fun at Central Manor together. I also have fond memories of some nicknames that kids have for me, like I was called Mrs. Pianos and Hey Music, and I really enjoyed that. Those are fond memories for me. Um, I think on the first day of school, when we're all going back to school next year, but I'm not, I will probably be either sleeping sitting on a beach, or maybe if I'm feeling extra nice, I'll be bringing some nice coffee and donuts to my buddies at Central Manor. I don't have a lot more to say, except for, I've had fun with you, I can't wait for act two. Sarah is retiring, curtain down. Thanks. My best memories would be my team. Um, my team of Joanna Trier, Megan Collins, Emily Wise, and now Allison Stark. They have truly been my lifesavers and we have had so many, so many hard laughs over so many things and so many inside jokes. So that has been just a true blessing. Um, I have often said that we were coworkers by chance, but we've become friends by choice. Um, when I think back to, or I think forward to what I will be doing on the first day, um, that's a great question. I have taken a job to supervise student teachers through E-Town, so I'm not exactly sure when that will start, but um, honestly, I would love to have my feet in the sand and just relax and just realize that I can not have that first day of school stress. Um, Penn Manor School District, thank you for so many amazing years. Thank you for the great co-workers I've worked with. Thank you for the administration and all the staff. It has been a wild ride, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Thank you. When uh, Sally Stratagus was here and I was working second shift, I was walking down the hall of the old building. And when I got down the hall, I heard this thud and I just happened to look in her door at her room and there she was laying on her back with her legs straight up in the air, exposed to the world. And 
I walked into the room and I was, oh my God, after she was hurt and everything, she said, Dad, just her pride. So I walked over to her and she just looked at me and smiled and said, well, John, I guess you know me a little better now and I'll never forget that. <laughs> so and from that time on, Sally and I had become friends and it was fine, you know. But there's a lot of stories after 28 years of being a custodian. You uh, learn a lot. If things are good, and my health is good, and everything's good, that will probably be with Mike Weimer. I had drinking beer in a bar somewhere. <laughs> or who knows what, you know. Whatever I want to do is what I'll, it'll be, because I'm... So I have a lot of really fantastic memories working um, the last 25 years at Penn Matter, the, the people I've worked with have been the most amazing group of friends and colleagues I could ask for. The students also have been fantastic. Um, I've seen many of them over the years. Uh, being in five different buildings, um, I've had a lot of great experiences. One that really stands out is the path of leadership that was created here at Hambright. Um, we got together, everyone painted a little stone, a little rock, um, the staff and the, the students, and we placed them all in a path outside our school. And it just represented everyone's unique abilities. And we had fun working on it all together as a collaborative effort. The kids enjoyed it and it's still there today. Um, so that's a great memory. Uh, also, the district art show is something I look forward to each year, and I know the students do as well, and I love highlighting their work and representing their great abilities for the district and getting to meet their families as they come in and enjoy that evening together. Um, gosh, I could go on and on, but I won't. Uh, I think. The other great memory I have that always sticks out is chaperoning middle school dances. Um, I worked at Manor Middle School for a little while over the years and I would always volunteer to be a chaperone and I would drag Paul, my husband, along and we would have a fun night and I just enjoyed that a lot. So next year, when everyone's back at school, I am anticipating being in my camper. <laughs> um, Paul and I love to go camping with our dog and we actually just bought a new camper that we're really excited about even though we've been doing this for years and we hope to be camping. I hope to be somewhere in the woods by the water sipping my coffee in or out of the camper. That's what we love to do. I started in the second chapter of Penn Manor School District. I started in 1988 at the only middle school that existed in those days, which was Mardikeville Middle School. Uh, Noel was the superintendent. Gary Campbell was my principal. Bill Ziegler was the assistant principal. My fondest memories from the middle school were directing plays and having the elementary school students come and see the plays. At the middle school, we did The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and Charlotte's Web, and The Velveteen Rabbit, and Green Gables. Um, it was really exciting when a hot air balloon was willing to come so that we could drop the winning egg drops from higher than the roof of the school. We actually got to take the winning egg drops up on a hot air balloon and drop them out of the hot air balloon. And I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the peer helper retreats and uh, conferences that we all did together. And then I took a very, very long time off to be with my family. Um, and I returned to Penn Manor at the high school in 2017. Um, best memories, again, students, colleagues, uh, finally getting a room of my own to decorate uh, when the construction was finished. And I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the fire alarms that went along with all the great construction that went with that. Um, taking students on a field trip to the aquarium in Baltimore, uh, seeing the eagles at the river, 
uh, that was a that was a great trip seeing the trash wheel, um, making hallway friends in the in the new building because they weren't all in the same department with me. Uh, parents' night because then I get to see parents who used to be my students, and that was always that was always a really exciting time for me. I enjoyed that a lot. And um, when we did deck the halls, the students and the staff, I think, really enjoyed that together. Um, the support from my colleagues when my mom died my first year back. Um, they really stepped up for me and I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I, the gas going off in the middle of my first observation when I was here at the high school. <laughs> Jason D'Amico panicking. <laughs> when you guys are all starting school in the fall, um, I'm going to quote from Proverbs because it says, A man's heart plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. So I've decided on my first day of school in the fall, uh -huh. I hope to be snuggling my grandson and maybe even in some foreign land for a little bit on a vacation with, with my family. Um, I wish everybody at Penn Manor a uh, great seventh chapter. Uh, every gray hair that I have has a name to it, but all the smile lines also have names too. Keep doing what you're doing, Penn Manor. Thank you for being a part of me.